Hello student, welcome to our last lesson where we are going to look at some questions on Newton's law. We start with the first one. A car of mass 2000 kg traveling at 5 meters per second collides with a minibus of mass 5000 kg traveling in the opposite direction at 7 meters per second. The vehicles stick and move together after collision. If the collision lasts 0.1 seconds, one, determine the velocity of the system after collision to three decimal places. Then part B, calculate the impassive force on the minibus. We proceed as follows. The total momentum before collision will be given by the mass M1 multiplied by U1. You get 2000 multiplied by 5. Then plus the mass M2, which is 5,000, multiplied by U2. The velocity here is taken to be negative because it is in the opposite direction. So when you multiply and add, you get that the value is negative 25,000 kilogram meter per second. Now the total momentum after collision, because the two bodies are colliding and moving with a common velocity, we get the mass as the sum of the two masses m1 plus m2 so it will be 2000 plus 5000 you get 7000 then you multiply by the common velocity which is 7000 v or v which implies then that the total momentum after collision is equals to the total momentum before collision which will give us 7000 v is equals to negative 25000 to get V, you divide through by 7,000. And that gives you negative 3.175 meters per second. That will be the common velocity. Now, part B, you are supposed to calculate the impassive force. First of all, we look at calculate the impasse. The impasse is given by the change in momentum. And this will be given by the 5,000. Because we are considering the minibus, we take the mass of the minibus. Then the velocity, the final velocity is this one, and the velocity of the minibus. So we have negative 3.571 minus, then minus the, 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 minus the velocity, which is negative 7 meters per second. When you subtract this, it will become positive. So it will be 7 minus 3.571 to get 3.429. When you multiply by the mass, you get that it is 17,000. 145 that is the impasse now to get the impassive force we know that impasse is f times t and the t is given as 0.1 second therefore our impassive force will be the impasse divided by time which is 0.1 and when you divide it becomes 171 450 thousand newton that is the impassive force then number two we have that a block of metal of mass 40 kg requires a horizontal force of 100 newton to drag it with a uniform velocity along a horizontal surface. Calculate the coefficient of friction between the surfaces. We proceed as follows. Mu is equals to fr of r. Therefore, we need to get the value of r. And r is given as weight, which is mg. So M is 40, G is 10. 40 times 10, you get 400 newtons. After getting the reaction, then we proceed. Mu will be given by the force divided by the reaction. So you get that the coefficient of friction is equals to 0 0.25. Remember, this one has no units because it is a ratio of forces. The, the newton and newton will cancel out. So that is how you are left with 0.25. Then we proceed to question number three. A block of wood of mass 20 kg is pulled along a horizontal rough surface with a force, force of 150 newton. Given that the coefficient of friction between the block and the flat surface is 0.25, calculate the frictional force between the block and the surface. We proceed as follows. We are also supposed to get the acceleration. So we have that the friction the frictional force is equal to mu r so we are given the mu r 0.25 and we are also given the r because r is the same as weight which is 20 times 10 you get 200 
So the frictional force will be given as 15 newton. Then from there, you're supposed to get the acceleration of the block. We start by getting the resultant force. The resultant force will be equal to the applied force minus the friction. The applied force is 150 and the frictional force is 50. So you subtract to get that it is 100. So this 100 is the same as MA and M is 20 kg. So to get the A, you divide 100 divided by 20, you get that it is 5 meters per second squared. So this is the acceleration of the block and this is the friction force. Then we proceed to another example. A block of mass of 10 grams is shot into a watermelon of mass 0.2 kg, which is resting on a platform. At the time of impact, the bullet was traveling with a velocity of 20 meters per second. Calculate, calculate the common velocity just after the impact. We proceed as follows. We are given M1 as 10 grams, U1 as 20, then M2 as 0 0.2, that is the mass of watermelon, then U2, the initial velocity of watermelon was 0. So we proceed as follows. M1 U1 plus M2 U2 is equal to M1 plus M2 times the common velocity. So we substitute the values. This must must be in kilograms. So we are dividing through by a thousand. You have 0 0.01 times 20 plus 0 0.2 times 0 is equal to 0 0.2 plus 0 0.01 V. After that, this will cancel out because it is you are multiplying by 0. So you are left with, if you multiply this, you get that it is 0 0.2 is equals to when you add this again it becomes 0 0.21 v so from there you have that v is equals to 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.21 you get that your v is 0 0.95 meters per second then number five this is the common velocity number five we have that a trailer of mass 30 tons traveling at a velocity of 72 km per hour rams onto a stationary bus of mass 10 tons. The impact takes 0 0.5 seconds before the two move together at a constant velocity for 15 seconds. Determine the common velocity. And number two, the distance moved after the impact. And number three, the impassive force on the trailer on the impact. We proceed as follows. The mass M1 is given as 30,000, it is 30 tons. Then U1 is 20 meters per second if you convert this into meters per second. Then M2 is 10 tons, that is 10,000. And the time of impact T is 0 0.5 seconds. And U2, remember the, the, the bus was stationary. So we have that M1 U1 plus M2 U2 is equal to M1 plus M2 multiplied by V. So we substitute the values. This will go because you are multiplying by zeros. So you, you are left with 30,000 multiplied by 20. You get 600,000. And now when you add this becomes 40,000 V. To get V you divide, you get that it is 15 meters per second. Then from there, we move to the second part. The distance moved after the impact. Distance is always given by speed times time. We have calculated the speed as 15 meters per second. And then we are given time as 15 seconds. So you get that it is 225 meters. Then from there we have the impassive force on the trailer on impact. We first get the impasse, the change in momentum. And the change in momentum will be M V minus U. So our mass of the trailer is 30 tons, that is 30,000. Then the final velocity is our 20 minus 15. You get that it is 5. When you subtract, then you multiply by this you get that it is 150 newton second. That is the impasse. Now to get the impassive force, we have seen that it is the impasse divided by time. So it will be 150,000 divided by 0 0.5 second. That is the time for impact. You get that the impasse force is 300,000 newtons. Then part six or question number six, a girl of mass 50 kg starts on Aurora skates near a wall. She pushes against the wall with a force of 30 newton. If the ground is horizontal and the friction of the lower skids is negligible, determine her acceleration for the wall. We proceed as follows. We know that action is equal to the reaction and it is given by 
if you look at the, the reaction is given by that in newton it's given the force that is accelerating the girl is 40, 30 newton therefore f is equals to ma our a is f of a so it will be 30 divided by 50 mass you get that the acceleration is equals to 0 0.6 meters per second squared then after that we have the assignment the assignment is testing what we have just learned so make sure that you practice a lot and as you practice also prepare for the end of topic exam so thank you and let us meet in another topic